Sunday night wasn't that happy ending a lot of people wanted for boyhood. Having gone full circle from art house darling underdog to massive Oscar frontrunner and back again, Richard Linklater's 12-year cinematic experiment ultimately failed to take the Academy Awards top prize. The movie managed only one win, with Patricia Arquette snagging Best Supporting Actress. Instead it was Birdman who won most of the love. Alejandro Gonzalez in Attitude's dark comedy about a washed-up superhero movie actor tied with the Grand Budapest Hotel for most trophies, win for cinematography, director, original screenplay and picture. Yet Boyhood was always set up to be robbed, he says. It was a great movie, but it wasn't a conventional one, it didn't hit all the story beats you'd expect from a Best Picture winner, Davis says. There wasn't a big standout moment or particular scene that had everyone buzzing, and when you're trying to break through to 6,000 Oscar voters, sometimes the loudest film is the one that prevails. And Birdman is a loud film. Karachi acknowledges that it's hard to get too upset at boyhood being robbed. Even though he found Birdman pretentious and sophomoric it's the movie equivalent of being trapped in a dorm room with a theater major on and row it's pretty unique when it comes to Oscar movies. It isn't a safe biopic, it isn't vanilla, Karachi says. It may be obnoxious, but it's rare that obnoxious movies with an overinflated sense of their own intelligence win the Oscar.